today's problem is maximum width of binary tree so the problem statement is given a binary tree we have to write a function to get the maximum width of the given tree and the width of a tree is the maximum width among all levels for example in this binary tree this binary tree has three levels so we have to find the maximum width among all levels and the binary tree has the same structure as a full binary tree but some nodes are null and the width of one level is defined as the length between the end nodes so the length between from this node to this node so the leftmost and the rightmost non null nodes so the leftmost and rightmost non null nodes in the level where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted into into the length cal calculation for example so uh, let's start from the first level so the width is one so in the second level the width is two only two nodes are there in the third level so this uh, this node has a uh, left and right children this node has only right children left children is null so now five is the leftmost uh, non null nodes a uh, non null node of this level and 9 is the rightmost non null node of this level and in between these two nodes we have to consider null nodes as well so only one null nodes are there so the width is 4 so the maximum width is 4 so 4 is the output now let's move to the next example so in the next example let me scroll it so so the first level has the width one the second level again has the width one only one node is there and in the third level so from this and this the width is two so the maximum width is two now uh, let's move to third example so in the third example so the width is one now the width is two so between this and this and in so in this level only one node is there so the width is one and the maximum width is two now let's move to the last example so example four so in this example let me redraw it so so the first level has the width one in the second level so three and two the width is two and in the third level so five and the right children is null so let me write it so for two the right children is nine but the left is null so we have to consider the width from this node to this node and in between these two nodes we have to consider null nodes as well so the width is 4 now so this node has only left children which is 6 right children is null so for null the left and right is null and again the left is null and the right is null and uh, this node has the right children which is 7 and the left children is null so we have to consider all the nodes between this and this node uh, this nodes including null nodes as well so let 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 me count it 2 4 6 and 8 and the maximum width is 8 so 8 is the output so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem so let's discuss how we can solve this problem so in this problem we have to find the maximum width among all levels so what it means is it means we have to find the width of each level we have to find the width of each level and then return the maximum width so to solve this problem here i am using level order traversal so here i am using breadth first search and to find the width of each level we need to index each node of the tree so what it means is now if, suppose if the index of this root node is i then the index of its left child is 2 into i and the index of its right child is 2 into i plus 1 
and why we uh, need that you will understand them shortly so now the index of the uh, root node is 0 so its left child is so 2 into i which is at 0 and its right child is at uh, 2 into i plus 1 which is at uh, which is 1 so while doing the level order traversal we need two info so at each level we need to associate two information with each node one is the node and the other is its index so now for this level when we do the level order traversal with this node we keep two information one is this node and the other is its index so initially the index is zero so we keep uh, so we put uh, parent node is at zero index and now its left child is at 2 into i so this node so when we do uh, the level order traversal so uh, of this level so 3 0 and this node and its index which is 1 so what about this level so again uh, so the parent of this node is uh, this node and its index is 0 so uh, left uh, so the index of left child will be calculated 2 into the index of the parent node so it is 0 and this is the right child of this node so it means this node is the parent of this node and so its index is 2 into i plus 1 so 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 3 now let's uh, move to this level so 6 0 its index is 0 and what about its index so it is the right child of uh, this node so it is 3 into 2 plus 1 which is 7 now now how do we calculate the width of each level so width of this level is the index of the last node at this level minus the index of the first node at this level plus one so only one node is there and its index is zero so the width is one what about the width at this level so the index of the node so the last index so the the index of the last node at this level minus the index of the first node at this level so the index of the last node is 1 minus the index of the first node which is 0 plus 1 so the width is 2 what about the width at this level so the index of the last node is 3 minus the index of the first node is 0 plus 1 so 4 and what about the width at this level so the index of the last node is 7 and the index of the first node is 0 plus 1 now it is 8 so the maximum width so the maximum width among all the levels are 8 so 8 is the answer now while doing the level order traversal we need to associate these two info information with each node and for this I have declared one class node info and in this class uh, two attributes are there one is of uh, uh, tree node type so basically uh, this node I mean uh, the type of this node and the second one is to store the index so it is of integer type and here are the constructor and the getters for getting the uh, index of the parent node and uh, the parent uh, to get the information of uh, parent node so now uh, let's see the uh, level order traversal so here instead of using q uh, i am using a uh, link list and why i am using link list uh, you will understand uh, shortly so while traversing each level so initially i have added uh, the root node and its index which is zero then i am running this loop while the uh, this list is not empty and to get the size of each level 
I'm using this method which is size it will so initially when I added root and it is the only node present at this level so I get its length which is one and then I'm keeping track of the max width which is the maximum of max width found so far and the max uh, the width uh, width at current level so the maximum width initially is zero and the width at current level is so the index of the last node minus the index of the first node plus one so it is one so maximum of zero and one is one then i am running a loop for uh, in this case the loop will run only once so only one node is there so so imagine like this so imagine so in a linked list so i'm just drawing so that you can imagine it so we have this node we have this node info and in node info we have this uh, node and its index which is zero so when we pull we get this node info and it this uh, entry will be removed from the linked list and its left and right children is not null so we add the information so we add this three so basically we will add at this position so uh, to keep uh, the things clear i'm adding here so it is 3 and its index is 0 and its right children is also not null so let let me add them as well which is 2 1 so now in next iteration so first we uh, the length uh, the length of the linked list we get the uh, the size of the list so which is 2 and the max width is 1 minus 0 plus 1 2 so the maximum between the max width and the width at this level is 2 so we get 2 here and then we run a loop two times so for this node again we check its left and right children so its left children is not null but its right children is null so this we add 5 so this is removed from the linked list and we add 5 and its index is 0 and its right children is null so this condition is skipped and in next iteration so in next iteration we pull this value from the linked list so we get a uh, node info and for 2 the left children is null so we skip this condition and its right children is not null so we add 9 and 3 in our linked list so we add 9 and 3 so again uh, in next iteration the width is 2 so we run this for loop two times and the max width is so 3 minus 0 plus 1 so we get max width 4 similarly now we remove this 5 0 and we check its left and right children so its left children is not null but its right children is null so we add this information only 6 0 now in next iteration of for loop we remove this uh, node from the linked list so we remove this node info from the linked list and we its left children is null and its right children is not null so we add here 7 7 and again in next iteration so the length is 2 and the max width is 7 minus 0 plus 1 so it is 8 now and and uh, we removed this 6 0 from the uh, from this linked list and we when we check its left and right children is null so nothing to be added in a linked list and again in the next iteration of for loop 7 7 is uh, so this node is removed and its left and right children is again null so nothing to be added in a linked list so in next iteration this condition is false so we came out of this loop so when we came out of this loop we return the maximum width so the maximum width we have found is 8 so 8 is the output so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is on uh, 
we are visiting all the nodes of our binary tree and its space complexity is also o n we are using additional data structure to solve this problem we are using linked list to solve this problem and in worst uh, so we are keeping the node info uh, in this linked list so now let's again go through uh, the code so first i have declared a class node info which holds two information one is node so node is of tree node type and the second one is index then here i am doing the uh, level order traversal and so first we add the info of root so the root node and its index which is zero then we run this loop while the uh, list is not empty then at each iteration we first uh, find the length we keep track of max width and then we run a uh, for loop and we add its left and right children again in next iteration again we repeat the same process and when uh, this list is empty we return the max width uh, we have found ac across all the uh, among uh, all the levels so this is the one way to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comments and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video